Are you gonna say hi? Hey cuties! This time Today, we are doing something that literally I am so beeping shook about. About three years ago, so I was a senior in high school, this is around the time when we first discovered Fifth Harmony and, you know, the Cameron ways of life. During this time, I read many a fanfic. While reading all of these fanfictions, I decided I should make my own. Oh! So I wrote my own fanfiction. It is not complete. I kind of gave up after the first, what was it, two chapters. If we get 500 likes on this video, <gasps> I'm reaching high. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will create the next chapter in this story. We can make it a series, so every time yeah. I get the amount, then I can make the next video, and then I can also make the next chapter. So, I would suggest giving this a thumbs up. 500 guys, if we get 500, next chapter will be made. Let me just say, I had no idea that she was writing this. In senior year, we both kind of admitted, yeah, we're obsessed with Cameron. But I did not know she wrote a fanfic. So this is news to me. Um, quite shook myself. So like I said, I wrote this three years ago. I just recently found it again, and honestly, I don't think it's too bad. Let me know what you guys think, if you think it's good, not. I don't know. The title of this fan fiction is Sudden Change. Okay, just that title. Are you already shot? I'm quaking. Chapter one, hunties. I have to get into character here. <laughs> and this is also Allie's first time reacting to it, so here we go. Come on, Camila, he's totally in love with you. Diana said convincingly. I'm not ready for a relationship, Diana, and you know that. I've been with many guys and it just doesn't work out. I think I just need a break for myself. I mean, I don't need to be with someone at all times. It's nothing against Austin. I just need time to myself, I explained. Dorito, boy. Dorito. Well, fine. I just want you to be happy, Camila, and he's a really nice guy and he's head over he heels for you. This could really be the one, Diana said. I pushed my books into my locker, getting irritated. What does she not get? I don't want to be in a relationship right now. Me. I know you're trying to help me out right now, but it really isn't helping. If I find the right guy, I won't hesitate. If I'm not ready, it wouldn't be worth the time for me or for him. I said trying to be calm, but failing just a little. <laughs> Those writing skills. Okay, Gabby. With that, the bell rang and we parted our separate ways to class. I sat in math class thinking about all that went down. I know Dinah was trying to be helpful, but it was time for her to realize that I wasn't ready for a boyfriend. I thought about it more. My whole situation was so weird. It was as if I didn't feel any connection to any guys. I mean, sure I thought some were cute, but I just, but I just didn't connect with them in a romantic way. Sipping my tea over here. What do you think, girls? <laughs> Class, we have a new student, Mr. Jackson said, shaking my thoughts away. I looked up and almost gasped. She was the most beautiful girl I had ever seen. Hi, my name is Lauren Haregi, the new girl said <laughs> rather shyly. She had a quiet, raspy voice. There was something about it that made me want to hear more. Zaddy! <laughs> I smiled back, praying to God that the teacher would sit her by me. Welcome, Lauren. Go ahead and sit down wherever you'd like. Mr. Jackson said. Lauren walked forward towards me. Oh my gosh, yes, she's gonna sit by me. I thought to myself. I looked up at Lauren again. Lauren then made a sharp turn right and sat at the complete opposite side of the room. I'm embarrassed to even think that Lauren had even looked at me. Aww, Cam! <laughs> the rest of the class was a long, boring discussion on polynomials. Something that would never help me in my future. It was a good thing that I already knew a lot about them because I wasn't really paying attention. All I could think about was a new girl and her emerald eyes that sparkled. Your beautiful eyes stare at mine. Hey, you have no idea how hard of a video this is for me. I have to think of something after every single paragraph. The bell rang, startling me. I jumped. Everyone started laughing and I turned around to see Lauren's calming eyes relaxed on me. Well, I guess she saw me. I thought to myself, what a great first impression. I bumped into Allie in the hallway looking dazed. Is everything okay? She asked, looking concerned. Allie was by far my closest friend. Aww. For a second, I was tempted to tell her about Lauren, but realized it might give off the wrong impression. I'm not a lesbian, and I don't want anyone to think I am. I nodded and said, nope. 
everything is good. End of chapter one. All right, cliffhanger. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll be thinking cliffhanger. Why to keep people waiting? And look at I have Camila. No. Chapter two. Are you ready? Are you truly ready? This this is like a Cameron class right now. I'm just <laughs> listening to the teacher. The next day at school, I had a new feeling towards the day. Excitement? Why was I excited? Because of Lauren Jergy. Because of Lauren Jergy. Dinah skipped up to my locker and looked at me funny. What? I don't know. You just seem different. I don't know. Like, happy. She said with a smirk. Well, nothing has changed, so I don't know what you're talking about. She kept the same smirk while Allie walked in the conversation. Hi girls, there's a new girl. Has anyone met her? I think her name is Lauren. My heart skipped a beat. Oh yeah, she's in my math class. She seems nice, I replied, trying to settle myself down. Dinah gave me a glance and then turned back to Allie. I saw her walking alone yesterday after school. She seems really nice and I just wanted to encourage you girls to talk to her. <laughs> she seemed lonely when I saw her. <gasps> Please beep it, Yes, Hansi. It's always fun to meet new people, Dinah said. They must have seen my eyes widen because they both gave me a questioning look. What's wrong? Allie asked. Oh, nothing. I just, I, um, I need to get to class. If I see her around, I'll say hi. I said, trying not to tremble. I walked over. <laughs> she is so shook mm -hmm. and she hasn't even talked to her yet. <laughs> I walked away before they could question any more. Why did I care so much about what this girl thinks? Now, of course, math is next, and I have to see her again. Ugh. Allie was school president, and she was just trying to make her feel welcomed. I went to class and made my way to my usual spot and came to a stop. Lauren was in my spot. I decided to not make conflict and find a random spot. Okay, but why is, why is Lauren in her spot? Is she flirting or... I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know the future of this story. <laughs> and I wrote it. Today we are going to start a project. We are going to split up into groups of three and we each do a presentation on the Greek mathematician Diophantus. How the boop? Everybody looks around at their friends to figure out who they're going to be with. I will choose partners. Everyone moaned. I didn't care personally because none of my friends were in this class anyway. Me. <laughs> me in any class. <laughs> Personally, it actually gave me relief that I wouldn't have to scramble to find anyone. Mr. Johnson rambled off names. He said Austin and Camila last. Sorry, there are only two people left instead of three. Wait, I heard a rough voice shout. I wasn't put into a group. I turned around to find Lauren looking around like she was forgotten. Oh, I'm sorry. I made these groups before you came here yesterday. Why don't you pair up with Austin and Camila? He said, pointing to Austin and I. Okay. The love triangle begins. You think Lauren is going to be the third wheel? Because I don't. <laughs> I had mixed feelings. I didn't want to be alone with Austin in the first place. But then again, there was something about Lauren that made me nervous. Well, she was pretty intimidating. I smiled and waved over to Austin and I. Hi, I'm Camila, and I'm Austin, Austin butted in. She smiled shyly, and then we got to work. The bell rang, and everybody scrambled to get their stuff. I grabbed my book and stuffed it in my bag and turned around really fast. Whoa, Lauren yelled as I ran right into her. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I scrambled to grab her books. It's okay, she smiled slightly. I guess I was standing directly behind you. No, I should have watched where I was going. My bad. She stopped for a moment and looked nervous. I was just wondering if I could sit by you at lunch. I don't have anyone to sit by, and yesterday I was terrible eating alone. Uh, yeah, I said stunned. She wanted to sit by me? Never mind, I don't have to. No, I want you to. Okay, she lifted her head and smiled. See you at lunch, she said as she turned away. I took a deep breath. Why did that single conversation make me feel like I had just been on a roller coaster? Why did I want to go on another ride? <laughs> End of chapter two oh, and really? end of my story. So that was pretty good. I personally want to know like what happened. Me too. Yeah, I, I could just ask you, <laughs> but I don't know. What do you guys think could happen in this story? Comment down below if you like it, if I should make another chapter. I don't know. Once again, 500 likes and she will. So <laughs> that's an, an extra essay you need I to know. do before finals. I gotta, I gotta get thinking. Anyways, guys, we really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Once again, 500 likes, y'all. Yeah. Can you do it? Can you not? We will have to see. See you next time. Thanks Boo. for watching. Boo. Boo. Bye. Bye.